Julie from South Comanche Shore, California, has a question about a roof. Well, it concerns the underside of a roof, actually. Mm. Julie writes, when you have a new roof put in on its attic, on your attic, is the attic inside supposed to look like a porcupine with nails protruding through it? And if the nails were protruding through your eaves and the roofer kind of pounded them up, would that void your warranty? I'm not too concerned about the warranty. First off, in the attic, anytime you 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 uh, nail shingles down to plywood, it's going to come through. I, I don't know if it's a porcupine, but yeah, I'd watch your head if you go in there because you'll come out looking like you might have you might have you know had a fight with one. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one just attack you on top of your head. Okay. <laughs> but so it's normal to look that way in the attic. In the attic. Okay. Now what she's got is though is a eave on the outside of her home mm -hmm. that's probably a tongue and groove, especially in California, very common. And so you have three quarters of an inch of space. If they pound, if they use nails that were too long, and I bet you they used inch or inch and a quarter, and they pound them up, it's gonna leave little ridges on the shingles. Whether it's the warranty or not, that thing is gonna leak. And yeah, the shingle company is not gonna stand behind something that was installed improperly. Anytime you have an exposed eave on your, uh, on your, uh, underneath your uh, overhangs, you want to make sure that they use the nails that won't penetrate all the way through. So you use half inch to three quarter, depending what kind of decking you have. So yeah, it's not a good idea to ground pounding them back up. That's pretty poor, and I'm surprised they would do that in California. They have pretty good standards and and licensing and stuff in California compared to a lot of states. So you went with a cheap guy, didn't you? <laughs> porcupine, be nice. Porc no. The porcupine, yes. The flattened nails, no. Yeah. It's not all good. right. You have a question we can answer for you? Go ahead and send it to us at homeshowradio.com. There's a button there that says Ask Tom. There's a form filled out. Send it in, and your answer will come out here.